Uh, it's Ashley Clark with Earthkeeper Yoga, and I have a gentle chair-based yoga class for you today. So before we get started, I invite you, if you have shoes on, um, if you're okay with it, maybe taking your shoes off, you can leave your socks on, but just so you can feel your toes and your feet really spread out on the floor. And so you can just come into your chair. You don't have to do anything special. You just move yourself back just a bit so that you can bring your whole back connected to the back of your chair and leave the arms, just the hands just resting gently on your lap. And I invite you to find a soft gaze towards the floor or you can close your eyes if that's okay with you. You don't have to change anything about your body or your breath. And just start to notice any sounds around you that could be judged as distractions, but anything that's just being noticed here in the outside world around you. Start to move those sounds in just a little bit closer. So if you thought about yourself sitting in a, the middle of a circle, just right around maybe like a foot around you, if you hear any sounds at all, anything that could be a distraction, just noting those and then moving on past the thought. So in just a moment, I'm going to invite you to take a nice, big, deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. I'm going to invite you to send your awareness to the sound of your breath. So here we go. Nice, big, deep inhale. And exhale, sigh it out. Listen, tune in. Just allow yourself to send that awareness to just a regular breath. You don't have to change anything about it. So from here, you can go ahead and flutter your eyes back open, bring your awareness back towards me. We're gonna start to um, sit up a little bit straighter in the chair. So go ahead and press your tailbone into the floor and feel yourself ripple up through your spine. Crown of your head reaches towards the sky. It's almost like you're just a flower and you just grew up nice and tall. Make sure that you've got both feet completely connected to the floor. We're gonna send those hands down on either side of the hips. Take an inhale here. Nice and deep. And then exhale as you let the breath go, bring the chin down towards your chest. Releasing the breath fully, feeling that release through the back of the neck and the shoulders. Let's do that again. Inhale, bring the gaze back forward. And exhale, bring the chin down towards the chest. This time, take an inhale, reach the nose up all the way towards the sky. And then exhale, bring the chin down towards the chest. Do that again, lifting the nose all the way up. Nice and slow. Let's add in arms this next time. So inhale, arms and gaze go up. Exhale, hands down, chin down towards the chest. Do that two more times. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Inhale, last time. Exhale, release. Beautiful, just bringing that chin down all the way into the chest, letting the hands hang heavy down towards the floor here. 
And then when you're ready, bring that gaze back forward, bring the hands just to the tops of the thighs. And we're gonna start to shimmy forward in our seat just a little bit. <clears throat> so don't come so far forward that you feel like you're gonna fall off the front. Give yourself plenty of stability under your booty. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do is make sure that the heels are right under the knee so that the legs are bent at 90 degrees. Let's find that tall spine once again. So inhaling, reaching up through the spine, through the crown of the head, pressing the tailbone into the floor. Bring those hands down next to the hips. Let the chin come back down towards the chest. Take an inhale here, reach the arms and the gaze up. And then exhale, start to fold forward. Let the upper body start to become heavy as you let the torso start to rest on the tops of your thighs. Shoulder blades come apart, give yourself a breath. Noticing where the constriction is. Noting where the breath goes. So it goes into the upper back body. One more breath. Beautiful. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, slow rise. We're gonna come back up to that seat. All right. So from here, put your hands back on your knees and then let the knees come just a little bit wider. We're gonna do another forward fold, but we're gonna fold in between the legs. So again, just paying attention for safety's sake to make sure that you feel nice and stable through your low body connected to the chair. Let's ripple up again. So pressing tailbone and rippling through the crown of the head. Bring those palms down near your hips, chin down towards the chest, inhale, rise up. And then exhale, the hands can come to the legs, but let the chin and the chest come down in between the legs, just finding a place where it doesn't hurt, it's not too much, but we're just getting into the hips just a little bit. Maybe the elbows go up towards the sky. Breathe in and out, two breaths. Take an inhale here. And exhale, press those palms into the knees to rise back up. And then we're in the perfect posture to move right into the next thing. So press the tailbone down, press the crown of the head up towards the sky, and then you're gently gonna turn your chest towards that left knee. I know that it looks like I'm at my right knee, but I'm going left and you go whatever direction feels good. Here we go, we're gonna inhale, send the chest towards that left knee, circle through center, that inhale continues. And then as you exhale, let the back round, chin comes in towards the chest. Getting a little rhythm going here, inhaling forward. And exhaling back. And just moving with your breath. If there's any spot that feels so good, you wanna hang out there for an extra moment, go right ahead. And if you feel like it's too much on the outer hips, you can always bring the legs together just a little bit, and lessen the depth of the stretch. And when you get to that inhale on that left side, take that inhale all the way in and then exhale, round it back. Moving all the way over to that right knee. There's your new inhale. Inhale, moving forward. Exhale, rounding it in. Give yourself one more full round. So all the way through that breath cycle. And then circle back around one more time on your inhale. We'll meet with the back rounded towards the back of your seat, chin in down towards your chest. Let the breath go completely. Take an inhale. And then exhale to find that long spine. Beautiful. From here, in, with intention, we're gonna start to move this left foot over where the knee is in line with the belly button. So keeping the foot connected to the floor as you move it over, just inching, 
heel to the ball, heel to the ball until you get there. And then intentionally opening this right knee open to the right, same thing, just moving the foot over. You'll start to feel a little bit through that right groin. Press into the tailbone, lengthen through the spine, and then turn your shoulders so that they are more in line with your knees. We'll inhale, let the arms rise. And then exhale, let this right elbow come down to the right knee, but let the right shoulder to, or excuse me, elbow to shoulder stay strong. This left arm's up towards the sky. Notice if you've just clenched your jaw. All right, we're gonna inhale, reach this left arm over to the left. And then exhale, just sending it back over to the right. There's a stretch right there through that left side body all the way down to the left hip. We'll move through three more rounds. So inhaling the left arm, moving it over to the right. Two more. And on this last one, hold it, reaching those left fingertips over to the right and see if you can shine the heart forward here, deepening that stretch all the way down the left side. If it hurts, come out just a little bit. Hold it one more breath. Inhale, slowly start to bring this left hand down. It can come back to the left leg. That right palm comes back to the right knee. And then you can just shake out the shoulders, shake out the hands, move around just a little bit in case you feel like you've got a little twist in there that needs to come out. And then we're gonna settle back into this stillness. And we're gonna move with intention once again. So heel toe, this right foot towards center. And when it comes to your belly button, start to heel toe that left foot out to the left. You're gonna feel it first in the left groin, that's fine. So then you're gonna press into the tailbone, reaching through the crown of the head and then square those shoulders where they're in line with the knees. Take an inhale, reach the arms up over the head and then exhale this left elbow down to the left knee, reaching those right fingertips over just a little bit, seeing what's here. Strong from shoulder to elbow. Here we go, inhale, right arm opens to the right. And then over to the left, feeling that goodness through the right side body. You got three more times. And on this last exhale, you're staying over with the fingertips reaching over to the left, just seeing what's there. Then shining the heart over to the side. So the body's gonna twist just a little bit, only if it feels okay. Breathing in and out, two more breaths. Inhale, that right arm comes back up and then circles back to that right knee. Left hand comes to the left knee. Let's walk this left foot in. It's gonna meet the right. We'll be coming back towards center. All right, awareness of the feet grounding into the mat, ripple up through that spine and then let those hands come on either side of the hips. We're going back into a forward fold. And maybe this time you note if you feel a little bit more open through the low body. Here we go. Inhale, arms and gaze right. And exhale, forward fold. Torso is gonna come and rest on the tops of those thighs. Let everything round. Head hangs heavy. Notice where the breath feels constricted and where it feels open. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, let everything hang heavy in the upper body as you rise back up into your seat. All right, bring those hands back to the legs. So we're about to extend a leg forward. So in doing that, I wanna make sure that you're not gonna fall off the front of your seat. So shimmy back just a little bit 
and then extend this right leg so that the right foot is flexed. You've got your hand on your left knee and there's something right there just by flexing that foot. You're gonna feel it through the calf, through that right hamstring. This may be all you want today and that's fine if it is. Just enjoy a little bit of that. If you'd like a little bit more, bring those hands down next to the hips, just like we've been doing. And then we'll inhale to let the arms rise. That left foot is planted. So we're gonna exhale, start to move forward just a little bit, find your edge. And then the hands can come down to that right leg, to the left knee. Reach through the crown of the head and breathe here, three breaths. All right, you can walk your hands up your legs and come back to that seat. We'll bend that right knee, bring the right sole of the foot back to the mat or to the floor rather. I just happen to be sitting on a mat and then extend this left leg wall. Check that you feel stable in your seat and then ripple up through the crown of your head. Flex the left foot. Again, this may be all you want today and that is all good. If you want a little bit more, bring those palms down near the hips, bow the chin down towards the chest. Inhale, rise up with the arms and the gaze. And then exhale to fold forward. Hands can come to the legs for support. Reach away with the crown of the head. So our goal here is to be in touch, not too touch. So we're not worried about whether or not any part of our upper body is touching the lower part. That's not the goal here. Just breathing in using those exhales to tell you if you're right where you're supposed to be. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale, walk those hands up your legs. We'll come back to seat. All right, so from here, you're gonna take your hands and put them behind you on your chair. And if your chair has handles, um, you could put your hands on the handles. But I'm just gonna grab onto the back of my seat, come forward just a little bit for stability, and then come up onto the balls of both feet. So there's a little stretch to the tops of the feet right there. And then we're just gonna let the legs windshield wiper. So it's not as efficient as if we were on the floor, but it will get into those outside hips. And it's really great for the ankles too. If you hear any pops and cricks, that's just gas escaping from the joints. Nothing to worry about. All right, settling the feet back into the floor and then bringing those hands back to the legs. Ripple up through the spine. You're gonna take an inhale, extend this right leg long in front of you, and then bend the knee, let that ankle come to the top of the left leg. Now, if this doesn't work in your body, just leave the ankle crossed down by the left ankle. So again, when you press the tailbone into the floor and reach to the crown of the head, this may be all you want for the outside of that right thigh. If you wanna add just a little bit of goodness, you can take your left hand down to your toes on your left foot, right where they meet the top of your foot and start to bend those in underneath, kind of tuck them in. You'll get a great stretch to the top of that right foot. Just enjoy a moment of that. If you stand on your feet a lot, this feels really nice. Release your hand from your toes. Make a decision about whether or not this is enough for you. If you want just a little bit more, keep the hands on the legs, reach through the crown of the head and take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you can start to lean forward just a little bit. You've got four breaths. You may find your spot before you go much further or the exhales may send you all the way down. <laughs> it's up to you. Just finding your edge. So yoga isn't painful. So when if you if you find that spot, that edge, then just stay where you are, come out a little bit.
And after that fourth exhale, stay where you are if you can, if it's not painful and breathe two more breaths. Nice and deep. After you complete that last exhale, just press your hands into your leg to bring yourself all the way back up. You can uncross that ankle, send that right leg all the way out in front of you and then slowly lower down with control. So that right foot comes back to the mat, the knee bends, settle, balance in the center of your body, give yourself a breath. Beautiful, we'll do the other side. So inhaling that left leg straight out in front and then bending the left knee to bring the left ankle on top of the left butt. And don't be surprised if one side of your body feels much more open than the other, totally understandable. Find the length through the spine and just give yourself a breath. And then if you wanna take that right hand down to the toes, right where they come to the top of the foot and bend them in underneath for a little tuck and then that stretch to the top of the foot. Release the toes and decide where you wanna be. So you've got four breaths to find your spot. Inhaling deep. Exhaling, reaching the crown away as you bring the chest forward towards your thigh and the shin. Remembering to keep that length through the spine, trying not to round the back so we can protect that low back. You got two more breaths. And then holding wherever you end up, two breaths. Inhale. And then exhale to let yourself come back up. Beautiful. Send that left leg long and then lower it with control, noting when the foot makes connection with the floor, you can come back to that long spine, sitting nice and tall in the seat. And then notice if there's a big curve in the back. If there is, tuck the back of the tailbone look in or down towards the floor or towards your chair. And then that's gonna send the pelvis forward just a little bit. You're gonna feel a little bit of engagement through the core muscles. So you've got your hands on your legs. You're gonna take an inhale with this tucked in pelvis and then extend that right leg forward, hold it one breath. Lower that right foot down with control, center in the middle. Inhale, send the left leg long. Keep the left foot flexed, hold it a breath. Lower with control. And we're gonna do that one more time on either side. So center in the middle, tuck the tailbone in, engaging through the core and then send the leg out straight. And if your leg doesn't lift as high as mine, no big deal. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> so from here, I'm going to invite you just to go ahead and close your eyes once again. You can sit back in your chair just a little bit. Let your back find the back of the chair. Try to keep that link through the spine so we can stay with these nice big deep breaths. But let yourself relax in here, almost as if you were lying on your mat and you had a nice long spine, but the mat's supporting your weight. So just let everything go. Resting in here for another breath or two. Allow the arms to 
rest just a little bit more in the lap. And in the same way that I guided that forward fold with a count of four, I'm going to offer you four breaths here to completely settle and melt into your chair. You may begin inhale. And deep exhale, releasing just a little bit. And give yourself three more rounds. And at the end of that fourth exhale, give yourself a quick body scan from the soles of the feet connected to the earth all the way up to the crown of your head. See if there's anywhere else that you can relax just a little bit more. And rest. And slowly start to bring some awareness back into this space that we have created together. Let's bring some awareness back to the breath. Taking a moment to note, just feeling your body <clears throat> with this ease, the sense of nourishment and awareness. We'll bring the chin down towards the chest once again. Let those hands come on either side of your chair. Take an inhale, reach the arms up over the head. The gaze can follow even if the eyes are still closed. And then exhale, bring that palm, those palms together down in front of your heart, bow chin to chest. So I thought we could close today's class with me sharing one of my personal mantras with you. Feel free to use it anytime. And it is this. May you walk softly and carry a big light. May you know kindness and may you be kind. Until we meet together again, gratitude for spending some time with me today. Namaste.